Think about all the commercially printed materials you come in contact with on a daily basis. Brochures and envelopes you get in the mail. The marketing materials your company sends out. The rack cards in the stores. What did it take for each of these things to come into being? Hi, I'm Phil Gray, President of Progressive Printing in Springfield, Virginia, and the process that you're wondering about is offset lithography, and here's how it works. After having an idea communicated into a visual piece by a graphic designer, our clients send us quote requests with detailed specifications. Our estimating staff reviews the unique requirements for each job. In addition to size, page count, color coverage, and quantity, the estimator evaluates press time, special paper orders, labor, and shipping costs. The estimator must figure a way to do the job efficiently so that we can come up with the best price to do your job. Our clients will email FTP or send a CD for their electronically produced art files. Our file preparation or prep department examines each file carefully to make sure that we have all the fonts, color palettes, and high resolution graphics we need to print the job properly. We print out digital color proofs of the work and deliver it to the client as a sample of what they can expect. Once the client approves the proof, it comes back to our file preparation department or prep department. Only this time, we tell the computer to separate the colors into PMS colors or for color process colors. Cyan, magenta, yellow, black, commonly referred to in the industry as CMYK. With different percentages of each of these colors, we can create any combination of colors that the client can imagine. We etch the image into thin aluminum plates, one for each PMS or process color. Now it's time to take these aluminum plates to the press to print the job. Specifically, we use Komori printing presses in our plant. This complex machine is as long as two Hummer H2s and weighs as much as three, and it took us a week just to install it here. The Komori runs anywhere from about 5,000 to 11,000 impressions per hour, an impression being one sheet of paper, with up to four letter-sized pages on each of these sheets. This means we can print out 10,000 double-sided, photo-quality company brochures in less than three and a half hours. If you look closely at the printing press, you'll see that it's actually comprised of four separate presses, one in each tower. Remember the four aluminum plates we had just made? Each of these is wrapped around a plate cylinder located in each tower. This is a brief schematic of, of offset lithography and the process in which it works. Offset was actually developed in the 19th century, the late 1800s, and today it remains relatively the same as when it was developed although the technologies and the equipment have become quite sophisticated. The basic principle still is that you have to have ink and you have to have water to make offset work. There's a plate which we had talked about earlier that is put into the printing press. In this particular case we use the word offset. The blue represents the image area of the job and the gray area here represents the silver background or the aluminum color of the metal printing plate. The premise being that you have to have the right balance of water and ink to fill in the image area but keep the non-image area clean. And in offset the process works simply because the ink is transferred from the plate during the operation of the printing press to a blanket which in this case is actually a rubber pad that is locked very tightly around what's referred to as the blanket cylinder. So the ink is transferred as a reverse image and below that coming through the printing press at a relatively high speed anywhere again from 5,000 to perhaps 11,000 sheets an hour you have the paper which is moving from unit to unit in order to pick up the ink and create the full composite image. And below that, you have what's referred to as an impression cylinder that squeezes the paper against the rubber blanket at just the right pressure to pick up the ink and keep it moving along and make the image as smooth as absolutely possible. Once the paper has received its ink with the four process colors, it goes through an infrared dryer that heats the paper up to approximately 100 degrees Fahrenheit. 
This helps set the ink to get ready to print the second side of the sheet. The press operator constantly inspects the sheets to make sure that each layer of ink lines up perfectly to provide an accurately registered image from tower to tower. As the press delivers out the last sheet, the stack will need approximately three hours to set up. The finishing touch is to cut the printing job away from the press sheet, or crease it, or fold it, or pad it, or stitch it. We then band the finished products, shrink wrap them, or box them for shipping to the customer or end user. In just a few minutes, I hope we've acquainted you with offset lithography and commercial printing. Hope to see you next time.